guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every single Monday and Saturday that I post a new video. So in this video, I was going to be telling you how to care for your chinchilla properly. So, I just have a bit of notes like caring for chinchilla. First thing that is most important is their cage need. Their cage needs to be cleaned. So you need to have a cage for your chinchilla and the proper dimensions is five feet tall, three feet wide, and two feet like in depth. And the reason why they need a big giant cage is because they're small, they're like this big. The reason why they need um, a giant cage is they are very good they, at jumping. They can jump up to six feet high. Like, they can jump really high. So, they, the next thing is you will need ledges. There's lots of ledges in the cage that they need to jump on because they love to jump around. They need ledges. So, but their cage, you're gonna need to clean it every single day by just like, if you have fleece, you just need to sweep all everything like hay, everything off the fleece, extra food just off the fleece and just throw it all away. And then probably just refill their food, refill their hay. They need an abundant of abundance of hay. Um I will be in another video I will be going more in depth on their diet. So if you would like that, please make sure you give it a big like because then I will know if you like these videos on that and I will do more chinchilla videos. You clean their cage every single day and you just sweep everything out. If you use fleece linings, then you just sweep everything out. And if you use tile and fleece, then just sweep off the tile. And then if you use bedding, you just clean out the bedding. I think you clean it, you spot clean every day or every other day or something. And then weekly, you do like a deep clean, you wash the fleece, and then you um, just clean out everything like a daily clean, but you wash the fleece, like fully wash it. and that's what you do for that's how you clean that's how you care for your chinchilla properly um the next thing that they will be needing that to care for them properly is they need a bunch of hay like abundant and abundance and abundance of hay and so you can if they, if you ever see the hay is out, just always refill it. You always want the hay being full because they need the hay for digestive reasons. It has fiber in it and it's really good for them. So if they don't have hay, it's very bad. So make sure you always have hay in their cage. The next thing is they need pellets. Pellets are like the thing that they need pretty much every like they don't need hay, they need hay like hay is 70% of their diet then pellets is like 25% and so pellets is 25% of their diet so you can give them well you need two chin you have to get two chinchillas so two chinchillas if you have two chinchillas because they are um they need more. The more is often better, but you gotta have a bigger cage. So you should not ever just have one unless your chinchilla has special reasons why they can only have one. So 25% of their diet is pellets. So the pellets you will need are just a good pellet. Make sure it's good. If you get a pellet, pellets, you look on the back and read the ingredients, make sure they're good, they're like good pellets, and make sure it's just the pellets and nothing else, like no fruit, no no colorful stuff, you just want the bland pellets, that's good for them, 
they always need a bland diet. That's their diet. Um, then 5% of their diet is really just, it's like treats. Um, is treats. So like Chilla and Chilla would be better off if you never gave them treats. So they'd be better with a 70-30 diet with 70% hay, 30% pellets, and then but if you wanted to give a little bit of treats, oats I think are the best for chinchillas. You can give just oats to them and it would probably be the best alternative um, to any other treats. I think goji berries um, are also good. Let me, if I think, um, Cheerios are good, but they're not as great. Like. You really should stay away from Cheerios. I mean, they're safe for them. So if you give them, if you give them once. So there's some treats where you can only give them one in a week. And then there's like some treats like oats where you can give them like three or four or like five little oat pieces every day. But there's like um, dried rose hips. Those are good. I just think those need to be given in moderation, so you just need to give them like, oh, like one a week. Um, there's like other things, there's like a bunch of things that are safe for them. Goji berries are safe for them. There's a, a ton of things that are safe for them. But yeah, but again, caring for your chinchilla. The next thing after cleaning your chinchilla's cage and you have fed them. Um, oh, another caring for chinchillas is really, really important is wood in their cage, but make sure it's safe wood. If you'd like another video on like safe woods, I can do one of those. Um, and just make sure you give this big a, a like so I know if you want to know what safe woods would be so you just need lots of ledges lots of wood choose toys but make sure it's all safe never give them plastic plastic is like the first thing that everyone should know is plastic is the worst thing you could ever give your chinchilla yes the next thing that is really important for caring for your chinchillas is taking them to an exotic vet exotic vets are a little harder to find like you can't just take them to like oh where you take if you have a dog or a cat you can't just take them to like a dog or cat vet you need to make sure that it's an exotic vet so any place if you like look up exotic vets in like your state or your town or something it, they will come up some exotic vets or just vets in general um if you're looking for a vet or an exotic vet if you look up on your computer and be like oh like exotic vets in blah 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 wherever you live state or city wherever it will uh, something will come up on exotic vets. The next thing that is another important thing is they need a wheel. Even though their cage is big, it's not big enough for chinchillas. Like, it's big enough for their living, like, with you, but you will just need a, just a, a wheel. There's they're really pretty expensive. You need a 15 inch diameter wheel. If you have anything less than like, I think 14 inches is like the bare minimum. Like you cannot, if you have a 14 inch wheel, I think you're okay. But if you have like a 13 inch, 12 inch, or eight inch, or anything under like 14 inches, I think it's very bad. Like it's very bad because their spine should be like flat. But if you put them in like an 8 inch wheel, or I don't even think they would fit in an 8 inch wheel. But if you put them in like a 12 inch wheel, their back's going to go from like this, like flat, to like this, like really curved. And it's very not good and they will stop using the wheel because it's hurting. And 
you just need a 15 inch wheel i think the um chin spin the chin spin is a very good wheel it's um a pretty good wheel i'm pretty sure like that's a really good wheel if you're looking for a wheel and you have a chinchilla and they don't have a wheel right now and you need a bigger wheel or a big good wheel a uh, chin spin is pretty good it's pretty pricey it's like a hundred dollars so it's definitely an investment but it's definitely worth it for your chinchilla but the next thing that they need oh they definitely need playtime playing with them like giving them a bunch of playtime they need at least an hour of of playtime like human interaction like out of their cage time with you for at least an hour i think 45 minutes would be definitely enough but try and give them more time if you can possibly if you can't give them at least 45 minutes to an hour every single day then chinchillas may not be right for you in your in your life the chinchillas like they they're a little high maintenance they're not that they're not that high maintenance but they need they need to be played with i mean they're less high maintenance like than a ferret because a ferret needs like four hours of playing time a day but definitely if you don't have an extra hour in your day make sure to try and make an hour in your day to play with them make sure it's mostly on tile or if you do have carpet it's just they poop every 30 seconds so they can't be litter trained they can be litter trained to pee in a litter box just not poop because they poop so often they're not going to be like running constantly back to their litter box they don't they just poop everywhere so it's better to have tile because if it's just in the carpet it's not good so if you have a cage make sure it's on tile or if it's on carpet just make sure like your playtime's on tile or if you want to have playtime like in your bathtub that's a good place for bonding with your chinchilla or just a bathroom in general if you have like a smaller bathroom that's good bonding especially is better in a bathtub if you want it like when you get one then bonding with them is really good um if, okay so bonding if you want to bond with your chinchilla make sure you want to be like in a tighter space but put them when you first get them don't touch them don't like just leave them alone for like a week or so and just make sure that they're like comfortable you don't want to like freak them out and start touching them and like just they'll get freaked out and they won't like it so you want to just stay put and like just be around their cage and just like sit there sit there and just don't make the noise just sit there and like just um like do research on your computer or the phone or just sit there in like silence and just let them get used to you and that will help and then sit in like a big room with them and then you can just sit in a bathtub when you are like a few weeks in that's good so that's definitely a good thing then another thing that they you need to care for is yeah playing with them at least an hour make sure you have like their dust bath there so they can dust bath, but only give their, them a dust bath like every two days, every two, every three days, every two days minimum. I would say the minimum would probably be two days, every two days. Probably every two days would be good. Like maximum, I would think probably every three to four days going without um, a dust bath 
but I would definitely give them a dust bath like twice a week, three times would be three times in a week would be pretty good. Like if you want to give them a dust bath like Sunday, Wednesday, and then like on Saturday, and then like go to like Tuesday, and Thursday, and then Sunday, and then Wednesday, and then Saturday. Like mix it up so there's like there's two days, around two days in between. So that's definitely a good idea. Yeah. So the next thing is you always want to have proper care in, like you always want to have a good hygiene with your chinchilla. So you want to always keep their cage like mostly clean like every day you just want to sweep out their cage for hay and poop and everything like that you sweep all that out and it probably take 15 minutes and you could probably do it while they're playing or taking their dust bath just make sure you look at them every like few like every like 30 to 40 seconds just like glance make sure they're not doing anything rat bad or whatever just make sure you make sure that they're not like breaking into things or eating things that they're not supposed to eating anything that they're not supposed to make sure that they didn't escape out of like a baby cave out of a, like a baby gate that you set up just make sure that they're in like the proper playtime spot so I hope you enjoyed this video if you would like any other informational like videos on chinchillas Make sure you just leave the, um, like it, like the video, so then I know, so then I know what, like, it would like any more informational videos on chinchillas, I would definitely love to do that, so just smash that like button, so, bye guys, hope you have a nice day.